Hello, this is 5-1 in Signing Naturally text. It starts on page 232. Uh, as you read through this uh, subunit, as you can see, it's talking about WH uh, word questions, when, for example. With the when question, as it's sh shown on page 233, hmm, my textbook is torn. Anyways, it's shown on page 233. She's asking when the person will do something. As we've talked about previously, ASL being a topic comment language, very simplified explanation of the language, but topic comment. So <clears throat> here the person is asking, <clears throat> you practice exercise when? So she's head tilted forward. As you notice, the topic extends all the way through to you practice exercise. And then at the very end, eyebrows lowered, hold the last sign and ask when, the sign when. Or could say, You practice exercise, or you are going to exercise. What time? What time? As you go, continue to go through the unit. Uh, you'll notice on page two thirty-four. Um, in the picture, it's very hard to tell what he's doing, but this is the sign for do do, or when will you do something, or what are you doing? Uh, in the picture, he's got his hands like this, and. Basically, he's doing a hand, the fingers tapping together with the thumb and head tilted forward and eyebrows lowered. However, in my number of years of signing and interpreting, I have always used, and I think if you did a Google search on what's, this is the sign called do do, do hyphen do. Um, it's the index finger and the thumb. Um, either or, the one in the book, or mine. Um, so as we go down the page on 234, he's asking last Tuesday, what did you do? Last Tuesday. And as I have said all along through the semester in 101, um, there is no conjugation of tense in ASL. Yay! Not like other languages like English, Spanish, uh, to show present, past, future. I am, I was, I will. Um, that is all done using the um, establishing tense with the timeline as it's outlined on page 235. Um, your body is a demarcation between past and future, and your body represents the present tense. So signs like at the bottom of page 235 where she's saying yesterday, otherwise the day before today, uh, there are two signs for doing that. Um, basically the same yesterday like that with your A hand, with your thumb going from the corner here, back or Y hand. Same meaning yesterday. As you can see on page 236, she's doing last Monday. Remember your days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Going across this page at the present time now today, there are actually two signs for that like this, your hands cupped like that, or the Y hand, and I think what he's showing you is the Y hand. And that's that's what I normally use, although I have seen it with the hands just cupped like this. The day after today, tomorrow, one sign, one sign only, a sign coming like that, tomorrow, tomorrow. Next Friday, we always do, it's a compound sign. 
So we use, use the future sign next Friday, future Friday, future Friday. And you can go on through your dialogues there. I just wanted to review some signs for this subunit. And let me get to the book here. Okay. Again, to reiterate the sign for when, your passive index finger up like this, your dominant index finger here, and it comes down like that. When? When? No. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. Or, what is she doing? Really hard to say, see what she's doing. Oh, yeah, you can do it with one hand or two hands. And by the way, just so you want to know, maybe want to know, do do in a circle like that is chores or tasks. Commonly used for like household chores, you know, I've got a, or I've got a lot to do. I have a lot to do. Time signs, we went through these. I'm, I'm looking on page 281 in your text. Present day, now, today. The day before today, yesterday, or yesterday, tomorrow, past in general, just to, to <clears throat> modify anything that you're going to say after that, like last Monday, last week, really would do last week like that, or la last month, or last month, in the future. Going over to page two, 282, we've already done this, but I'll do it again. Sunday, Monday, it's like your M hand like that. Let's see if she's doing that. Okay, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Remember, your palm is facing in. It's not out like this. It's Tuesday, not to be confused with possibly toilet or bathroom. Wednesday, your palm facing in, the W hand. Thursday, you do the TH palm facing in. T H T H. Although I have seen people do sometimes, and I see it's in the book there, the slight circle for, with the H for Thursday, but I always use T H. It makes it very clear that it's Thursday. Palm facing in for Friday, the F hand. Saturday, palm facing in. Although you can't see the S, it is the it is the S hand. Um, activities: stay at home. Let's see, stay at home. which we all should be doing now, unfortunately. Uh, house cleaning, house cleaning. And you can use that as a directional sign like to really show that I'm gonna clean the whole house. Uh, cooking, remember your palm like that? It's, it's the modified B hand, palm. Think of it as like flipping something, cooking. Um, play games, play, play, remember your Y hands, play games, your A hands come together with the knuckles, so play games, uh, what is she doing there, watch TV, oh, as we've already seen that, you can do TV, TV, watch, watch TV, remember, watch, your modified L, at your chin coming out, Modified L, watch TV. To go to a place, very simple, go. Two hands, if you had one hand busy, you could do it with one hand. Like, I'm going to the movies, not now. Uh, to do something, to leave a place, your open five hand like that, coming into the and hand or the O hand. To go, to leave. Um, work. I've noticed in some of your videos in the past, some of you are having trouble with the sign for work, and I'll show you several angles on how to do this. Um, the sign for work is your A to S hand, but more the A hand. Well, yeah, A to S, somewhere in there. But this dominant hand with the palm down comes over top of this hand just like that close to the wrist not like that not like that like this 
Uh, these mean different things, and I won't go into that now, but this is work. 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 Exercise. Exercise. Like that. Like that. Think of it as lifting dumbbells. I do. Um, fairly easy. Um, school. We've already done that before. Remember school? And what are they doing in there? Uh, okay. They're practicing soccer. Um, the sign for soccer is this. It doesn't quite look like that in that sign. It looks like he's got it like this, but I've always seen it like that. If you did it like that, I suppose people would understand you, but I've always had the passive palm facing in, your B hand like this, and coming up and just kicking in. So practice your A hand on your index finger, practice soccer. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I can't even read it. Um, wow. What is that sign? Um, by the way, this is a sign for Jim. Your X hands like this, like circling, gym, like gymnasium. Also the sign for celebrate, all in context. Um, to see the doctor, there are a couple signs for doctor. You know, this is a sign for C, your V hand facing in to C. Doctor is either your M hand on the wrist like that in your passive wrist and this comes from the sign comes from the uh, concept of taking a pulse so your m hand down on your wrist like that or the d hand and i've seen both <laughs> keeping in the same logic this is a sign for nurse the m on your on your uh, wrist the sign for psychiatrist which is a, he was a medical doctor is a p on the wrist Psychologist is different. Psychology, psychologist, but you don't need to know that now. Um, church meeting, the sign for church is C on your, your rock hand or your A hand or your S hand. So C like that. Church. Sign for temple, T on that same handshake. Um... See. I'm trying to figure out what he's doing in here. Okay, he's doing meet a friend, it looks like. So we know the sign to meet is the D hands coming together at the phone. Meet friend. Um at the bottom of the page is shopping, your and hand or your O hand, shopping. ATM, uh, okay, it looks like he's taking money, take out. So money, take out. Take out is your modified five hand underneath your palm of your passive hand coming out like that. So take out. Money, take out, ATM. I still don't know what the second si sign they're trying to show on that page is. Looks like, um, well, the second sign there is doctor. Anyway. Places we did school. That's on page 286, school. School like that. Library is your L, making a small circle like that. Um... He's showing a different sign for Jim, like this. I've always seen this sign for Jim, but I, I'm i guessing that's what he's doing. I'll have to look at the videos to see what they're doing. Um, park, 
is just simply finger spelled P A R K. And it says church, and below that, the hospital. The hospital is an H making the sign of the cross on the upper arm, like that. Bank is commonly a fingered spell loan sign. We'll get that into that in ASL 102, 201. The finger spell loan sign, but I'll just show you the sign. Just finger spelling bank. Bank is so fast normally that it's what's called a finger spell loan sign. That it's it's finger spelled, but it's so fast it basically has become a sign. Restaurant is the letter R on both on both sides of the notes coming down. Not to be confused with rose, which is like that. Food store, very easy at the bottom of page 286. Food, not eat. Remember, eat is just one motion, but food being a noun is repeated twice. Food store. And... Looks like he's doing the sign for place there under category sign. The letter P, like that, coming in. Not like family that goes out like that. Place is the letters P starting out from you with the middle fingers touching and coming in a circle towards you. Place. Okay, that's it for 5-1.